guys, this is Bonnie Harms. Welcome back to my channel, Bonnie Harms Designs. Thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget before we start this video to subscribe below if you haven't already. Okay, so if you have not seen the before pictures in the video, make sure you click on this link. You gotta see it. This is a big transformation. So here we are. This is it. This is our new entertainment room. So what we did here is, first remember when I was choosing the tiles, we did a really cool tile for the backsplash. I wanted to do something new and modern and different. And so we went with this 32 by 32 backsplash. And this is actually a tile that my followers on Instagram chose. So this was the winning tile. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can join in these fun little polls that I do because I love to do the polls. I love to get your opinion, but I also will incorporate my opinion too. But y'all always match with mine and that's what I love about it. So make sure you do that and you join our family on Instagram, Bonnie Harms Designs. This was the winner right here. What I love about this tile is not only is it gray, but it's got a little influx of a hint of brown, which is nice, it ties in with our floor here. Um, the other tiles that I had were more of like a gray solid tile and it was weird, they almost looked blue. But that doesn't mean it'll look blue in your room, it just depends upon where you're putting it and what you're grouping it with. I have a lot of light coming in this room. I have, there's windows behind you, and so it kind of made that tile look blue. But this one I think is just perfect. I love the little effect that it has. It almost looks like it has rain on it, and I call it the rain tile. Also here I wanted to point out on my tile, um, what I love about this is that this is a rectified tile, which means it's tile that you can butt up really close together. You don't have to use large grout lines. And so you, there is grout here, you can hardly see it, but the tiles are so close together that we just put a tiny little bit of grout in there. And that's what gives you that nice solid look. And I wanna give props to Emser Tile. That's where I got this tile from. And it's a, a, a tile place, sorry, here in McAllen, Texas, but they're worldwide. And they have an awesome selection of beautiful, elegant tiles. So that's where I got this tile. And then what we did here is we put in a little bit of floating shelves, which I thought would be nice because down here you've got this, these cabinets, which are great. I didn't do handles, I just wanted a nice sleek look. So we did the push open type um, cabinetry. So we did a big group set of doors here. What I did was, is I had my cabinet guy raise it about eight inches from the floor. You can usually do between eight, 12, pretty safe. You don't want to do it too high or too low and I think this is a nice fit right here. Um, so I really love this effect. I think it just make, makes it nice and elegant. So anyway, so then we added this nice 57, I want to say, inch TV, which is really nice for a fun different effect. And I haven't seen this before and I don't know if maybe you have, but I did something a little different and added glass shelves to the tile wall. Um, I could have done like a floating wood shelf or something different, but I thought that this glass is very nice because it's subtle. It's not too harsh and it allows you to portray whatever you want to display on your shelves without fighting, you know, like the pictures or the, um, the plants. And so remember, anytime you're kind of displaying or wherever you're setting up your special things in your room, make sure that it describes a picture of you and what you like. Every room should tell a story, right? So that's why I have, these are the special things to me. So of course I put my family pictures up and then I put a couple plants up here for effect. And notice that I did maybe one here, then some greenery on another shelf and then I did it up again, and then I did a beautiful figurine, this glass figurine of the Blessed Mother, which I love that. And then some nice little plants. This is some bougainvillea from my yard. I'm obsessed with bougainvillea. 
And if you're lucky enough to live down in the, where we live in South Texas, grow a lot of this bougainvillea, which is gorgeous. And um, it's beautiful. So I like to cut that and put it in the vases. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed our new reveal of the Entertainment Center as much as we do. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Have a great day, or not, the choice is yours.